shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. I don't know where that high pitch tone came from, but I'm here in Love Laney Cottage, and uh, oh, here comes a delivery. That looks like it's just some kind of dishwasher powder. Yeah, good morning and welcome to my morning face. We are one week into four weeks of lockdown here in the UK. Um, if you're in this with me, oh God, look at my hair. <laughs> I've already had two coffees, so there's no excuse for this face. Um, it is currently almost 10 a.m. and I've been up since about seven with doggies who are here stalking me as always. I've got the radio on, I'll turn that off. Um, yeah, I get up, I have my coffees with the dogs, I kind of go online, check my social media, because if you have been following me for a while, you probably know that um, I don't keep my phone in my bedroom. Um, I just find it a distraction. I'd be on like, you know, online shopping. It's my addiction. Um, so I've gotten up, done that, and kind of tidied up around the house from where I just kind of went to bed and left the remnants of dinner and everything behind me. Um, I'm going to do some laundry. It's all very normal. Also, right, look, just before we got announced into lockdown, I got my nails done by a new nail artist. Um, she's, I think, Honeybee Beauty on Instagram. I'll link it here. But, oh my God, they're acrylics, like extensions. Normally, um, my nails just do not hold like acrylics or tips or whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because like I've got like oily cuticles or something. I don't know what it is, but normally they pop off. These have been on, I think, oh, at least over three weeks, if not four, and they have not budged. So this is like a first for me. This has never ever happened ever where my nails have just like not budged at all. And look at the nail art. They are a little bit too long for me at the moment because um. They're just getting a little bit, so I might, because we're in lockdown for another three weeks um, and I actually have my next appointment is booked in for just after lockdown, so fingers crossed I can get them done. But I will need to trim them because they're just too long right now and it's just incredible that they haven't um, budged. Just thought I'd share that with you. Start getting my nails done again, start to feel more girly. Um, my skin's looking pretty good because I did my profilo about four weeks ago so I'm kind of due to get do it again so I might do it again today. Um, I was being brave doing it to myself. So Profilo is a treatment that um, I'll be doing in my clinic. It's hyaluronic acid and it's called the five point facial because you go into five points around the face. It's actually ten points because it's five on each side and you use the whole needle worth of product in this area of your face and as you do it um, it takes about four to eight weeks to see the results but it is incredible um, this kind of area around here is where I have issues now I'm just like fresh up with no makeup on and as you can see I'm 38 guys so I'm looking pretty fresh it's usually 300 pounds for a treatment you're not going to get it for any less than that but for your initial treatment you do it once and then four weeks again, you repeat the treatments. So that's a, another 300 pounds. So you have to think of that. So it's actually, well, when I do it, I'm gonna be offering it for the second treatment, for that initial second treatment, I will do that initial one for 250. So altogether it's 550 for the two initial treatments. After that, every six months you do it and it's 300 pounds and it is completely worth it because you just look so fresh, it really hydrates the skin. And I saw Millie McIntosh, who used to be on Made in Chelsea, she's been having it done. You can have it done in your neck as well. You can have it done in your ch chest area if you feel like you're kind of like showing wrinkles. But it just smooths out your skin. I would only recommend it for people over the age of 35. Unless you find you have extremely dull skin as someone who is under 35, then I would recommend it for that hydrating look, but you may not need the second treatment. Whereas for someone over 35, when it's to kind of plump out those wrinkles, because that's what it does, it promotes 
um, collagen production. So like the initial effects is where you're actually injected hyaluronic acid into your skin, um, which we already have in our skin, which is what gives it that kind of plumpness. And then as we get older, that reduces and the collagen reduces. So initially you get this kind of glow about your skin. And then over the next four to eight weeks, because once you get the second treatment, you will see the smoothing effects. Now it doesn't change the shape. You can't, it isn't um, site specific. So it just kind of dissipates underneath your skin. And it's like, if you think about your your skin being a slightly deflated balloon and when you put it in it kind of just inflates it a little bit so it doesn't make you puffy it just makes you go whew. it's really subtle and when you get it done most people won't even notice you've had work done uh, or a treatment done it's more that they'll say wow you look so good you so look so well rested so that's what the profilo is and i had that done myself i did it i think it was about four weeks ago so i am due to do it again now it is harder to do it on yourself i have um been doing it for a number of clients and they are loving the results so yeah very popular it will be so if you have any interest go and follow my instagram page fear clinic f-i-o-r clinic there it is. When the lockdown is over, I'll be announcing clinics. So I'll be running um, one in Shrewsbury. I'll be doing one up north um, in kind of Lancashire direction. And I'll be doing one closer to London um, as well. So it'll be um, just north of Milton Keynes. So um, I'm going to do a few different clinics. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for when I announce those. And also be doing like Botox as well. So right now I'm trained in the upper face of Botox in the new year. I was meant to be doing my advanced Botox training. That got postponed due to um, lockdown 2.0. So I'm not going to be qualified until January. But then I'll be able to, once I'm qualified in that, um, I'll be able to provide even more um, anti-wrinkle treatments. You shouldn't be calling it Botox because Botox is actually the brand. So sorry anti-wrinkle treatments um, and I use a product called Azulor which is uh, a botulin toxin so um, that's what I use on my clients and I've been getting a few clients in here and there but I haven't run any clinics as such yet so I will be doing that as well soon so that'll be on offer too and then we also have our B12 injections so B12 is um, a vitamin that we have in our bodies and a lot of people are actually running low on it. So it helps with energy and fatigue and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's uh, important for um, neural focus for your brain. So I'll be offering that as well. So my prices, um, I will list them down below if you're interested and it might be something that you'd like to get done or even treat someone to, um, yeah. So if you want to book in your missus or your mom or your sister, you know, treat them to either some profilo or some anti wrinkle injections or just some energy from a B12 injection. Just hit me up. Okay, I'm gonna get on with my day. That was like part of my day. And uh, uh, as we don't have a gym, I've kind of, I haven't worked out, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done an out home workout. I have been doing cardio and I've been getting loads of steps in with the dogs and going on really long walks, meeting up with friends and socially distancing myself. So I have um, a walk planned today with my friend Danny. Um, we're gonna go into Shrewsbury and walk along the quarry, maybe grab a takeaway coffee, um, you know, support each other mentally. And um, yeah, the dogs get some exercise as well. But right now I'm still in my, nighty and um it's 10 a.m so that's kind of disgraceful so i'm gonna go and um do some cardio on my little stepper i still have my little go-to stepper so i'm gonna do some of that watch some trash tv while i do it and then um get on my day maybe have some breakfast and some more coffee welcome to my day a day in lockdown it's midday and i'm still looking beautiful um but and i'm just holding a bow beside my head for reference no um i'm gonna have some porridge so i just thought thought 
I will show you how I make it. So I've got 50 grams of oats. I'm just gonna add um, some salt, because I like mine salty, and water. Put it in the microwave for two minutes. And then I am going to add in some egg whites, 50 grams of egg whites. Um, and then I'll microwave it again on 30 second intervals, stirring it in between. Then I'm gonna add in some chocolate protein powder and then the toppings. And again, simple, yummy, good combination of protein, carbs. I'll also add in some fats with some almond butter. That's breakfast. So we have our protein porridge and I'm just going to add my toppings. So we've got some chocolate chips, some desiccated coconut, and some almond butter. Ooh, yummy. So there we have it, some protein, a porridge of goodness and yumminess and sweetness for this cold autumnal morning. Out of the shower, looking a bit cleaner. And um, my little routine is that um, I go and make myself a coffee when I get out of the shower. These two little ladies are in here waiting for me. I sit at my little dressing table and just freshen my face up, even though we're in lockdown. Doing my makeup, fixing my hair, making myself feel semi normal. Just gets me through the day, and I would recommend this to anyone if you're feeling, you know, just overwhelmed by lockdown, you know, just feeling anxiety. I know I get it. Just um, make the effort to make yourself feel good, whether it's putting on a face mask, having a bath, um, lighting candles. I do all these things and I clean my house, keep my environment tidy and it just gets me through kind of the day to day when I can't really go out anywhere apart from to the supermarket or for a walk with friends but you know it gets me through. I'm not naked, I do have a towel on. Um, yeah so I'm gonna go and do some basic makeup, make myself feel a bit more human and uh, get on with my day. I've just been doing laundry, tidying, very normal domestic chores. So not all fun and excitement, unfortunately. But what else are you gonna do during lockdown? Good evening, lovely people. I am getting back to this vlog after a little bit of a hiatus because um, I just wasn't feeling well, so I never finished it properly. So um, today I got home, um, I was out and about, and I came home to a delivery. Um, you may remember I had um, a Laney necklace, but I brought Roxy to the vets one time, she doesn't like the vets, and her paw got caught in it, and it broke. And I love my Laney necklace because, you may or may not know this, but I love Sex and the City, and it reminds me of the Carrie necklace. So... The lovely people at Julia had gifted me the necklace and when I contacted them to tell them about what had happened, they gifted me a new one. So here it is in all its glory. It's beautiful sterling silver, cursive in design with my name and it just sits at a lovely level on my neck. I know I'll be uploading this video about Black Friday and I wanted it to be included in the Black Friday video because Julia have informed me that they're gonna be having massive sale on around then so if you're looking for any kind of unique, customised gifts for friends or family, pieces of jewellery, they have beautiful pieces, all custom made, and they'll be ready for Christmas. And um, yeah, I'll just hit you up down below with a link and a discount code, but there will be huge discounts for Black Friday. They've also given me this beautiful bracelet. Um, again, it's a custom piece. You can see there's a little um, disc on it that I have had engraved with an initial and a date that's special to me and I'm going to be wearing that and it's just really really cute and it has like a little heart clasp on it too and um, if you're a guy and you're watching this um, go pick it up for your girlfriend she'll really love it or your aunt or if you're a girl and you want to get it for your best friend they're just really sweet nice gifts and every girl no matter how much jewellery she has it's never enough so I'm just going to leave the video here I'll be back again on it i know i've been really crap but i just have been feeling a bit under the weather and i take made the decision that i'm just not going to do things that i'm just not feeling good about and i wasn't feeling in the mood for vlogging so i didn't and 
when I want to be on here. I want to be positive and affirming and, you know, uplifting. So there's no point in creating content that is a bit of a downer. Uh, not that I was on a downer, but I just wasn't feeling very well. And you don't want to see a snotty, sick, kind of miserable laney on your screens. But I'll be back because I'm feeling much better. And lockdown here in the UK is coming to an end next week. So I'll be back to normal, back in the gym. I'm going to end this vlog um, with some footage that I recorded pre-lockdown in my new gym, FWX in Shrewsbury. They have a number of them around the UK. They have a new one opening in Bristol soon as well. And I just wanted to show you how awesome it is. Their, like, their equipment is freaking amazing. I'm all about the FWX. Go check them out if they're in your area. They are a UK-based uh, gym franchise, but they're just really good. And the guys in there, there's a lot of um, PT available. Um, so go check them out and enjoy the last bit of footage that I cannot take credit for editing, I'm afraid, because I'm not that good. But I will see you all soon. Sorry about the crazy lighting, but my house has not got the best lighting. It's an old house, so I'm just sat in front of my desk light, looking like Casper. But coming at you again soon. Love you. We'll leave you. Enjoy. Time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, Girl, you can sit on me. Cause, bitch, they be.